Hello? I made it, finally. You did. You're the first one. That's surprising, considering I'm a little late due to work. Well, I also start- I literally fired this up like a couple minutes ago. That means you were on time. I... have to go back to work after that, this thing. Hello! Welcome in! Hello! What's up? I'm still technically setting up my headphones. Well, I can't start playing until there's at least one person in each, uh, uh, faction, so... So far, there's nobody. I will need to get on that. Uh, are we doing a live stream? Is this on Twitch? It is indeed on Twitch. Uh, okay, that explains what I'm missing. I will need to go there. Am I broadcasting to the public? To the you are currently stream? broadcasting to the public. Cool. I will mention other things later. you talk at least. I can hear you. Correct, my headphones are not working. I also have to be right back because a package got delivered literally right now. Just wonderful timing. I'm watching an ad on your stream, so that must mean I'm giving you just all of the money. Yay, thank you. I'll take it all. Are you going to get, like, a whole penny for this ad view? Yay! Mm. Alright, I suffered through that horrible... A penny for your thoughts? Someone say something again? Uh, a penny for your thoughts? Hello. Hello. Still a penny for your thoughts. Nope. Nope. Bummer. Disconnected and reconnected my headphones because apparently they had, uh, they had connected to my phone at the same time, and uh, my phone was trying to grab things or send things. Uh, things. Real quick, I gotta make some adjustments because uh, Mayumi's gonna participate, so I have to set up the mic that we can both talk in. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my package from upstairs real quick then. Hello! Welcome to, uh, King of the Castle. Congratulations, you're the first one to jump in. You 
have missed nothing yet. So far, there are four more people that have confirmed to uh, be joining us. They are currently setting up, so it'll be just another few moments before you can get started. Is this going to be a brand new game? No, this is still on? this is still continuing uh, where we left off at from last time. So I, I think I, I think was... you and and uh, Meeply were part of the Chiefs of the North. That sounds. And now I am once again. Will it correctly attach me to my former self, or does it? Um, by default, you are they them. Well, no, okay, yeah, but no, I mean, will it attach me? Yes, to... you are currently part of the Chiefs of the North. Yes. Right, but will it attach me to my exact former character? Uh, that I so don't know. No, does it know to maintain that relationship. That I don't know. Hello, welcoming King Israel. Thank you for the follow. Just waiting for two more people to jump in that have confirmed their attendance. They're currently setting up, and then I will get started. Okay, be right back. Let me just change my settings really quick. change the pronouns after you've joined, or is it too late? Well, I am a bit different than I used to be then. I just have to accept that. If I can leave. like a reference chart of all the commands. Well, I hope this social experience will now prove that pronouns matter. Fair enough. I just I got back and friends. I already thought. I'm still in the game despite leaving the stream and coming back. Um, if it really bothers you, I can just quit the game and reload the whole thing. I, I will not be sufficiently bothered to warrant that. Hello? Hey, Pop, what's going on? Oh, Mayumi? Uh, nope, um, on a stream, uh, I'm Zooming right now. I can hear you. Okay, oh. Just check to make sure, is everything okay? Okay. Uh, shoot, probably not tonight, because I have to go to bed at 7. Okay, I love you, Dad. Bye-bye. War Vance, you have been congratulated on becoming a they Zemington. This was unexpected.
FAQ for this game, the final question they answer is, should I invest my life savings in jeweled crabs? Neither Tributary Games nor Team 17 are registered financial advisors. The value of jeweled crabs may go down as well as up. That being said, go for it. Crabs are the only investment strategy recommended by 9 out of 10 petitions. Hello! Seems totally above board to me. Hello, welcome in, Sonic. Yes, we should, uh, we should get on Reddit and create a Jeweled Crabs, um, buying frenzy to artificially inflate the value. Oh, okay. I don't think that's how you use Reddit, but that's what it's Gotcha. I mean, Reddit's been used to do that before in real life in some, uh, stocks, so... It was freaking hilarious, and it actually rescued um, GameStop from Oblivion. It got saved because oh, yeah. everyone, everyone joined in and forced the price way up. And now it's still around. It was like on the verge of death. As the stock was so cheap. I that. <laughs> stock thought, was so cheap. Um, I think we are making a movie about that now. Yeah, I would If surprising. I remember correctly, when I went to see Barbie with uh, Tia on um, this weekend, there was a commercial yep. for it. Fascinating. I can still hear myself echoing it. It's distracting. I do not hear you echoing curiously. Yes. So that might be on your end. It's still coming through. What? Never mind. It's totally my fault. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Stream volume up. I thought I hit the mute button, but apparently I unmuted. Are you still hearing me talk? Yeah, I was like, wow. I wonder who's just like not. But no, none, neither of them are answering me. Oh, it's happening in Twitch. That's weird. How do I fix that though? That's what I get when I'm having it. Alright, hang on. I need to fix something. Um, is it I also nope, had to schedule not. an appointment for tomorrow to get my nose piercings changed out so that I can remove the jewelry on my own. Um, and now... I was... The ADHD part of my brain, it, it's a little ironic because... The dopamine-seeking ADHD distractible part of my brain was like, Oh yeah, just go get a new piercing. And... I had to stop myself and be like, The reason why you're going to get your piercings changed is so you can remove them easily so that you can go take a medical test that needs you to not have piercings in your face. And if I have a new piercing, I can't take it out for a few weeks. Also, just in case you don't know, you are live on the internet publicly. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if you know that, but you're live. Hopefully, no one is traumatized, but I think it is. I mean, I can talk about the dramatic version of how it sounds super sketchy because my cousin did all my piercings, but it's actually not sketchy because she's been a piercer for like over a decade, nearly 20, like 15 years. As, lo as long as she's been old enough to have a job, she's been working in a piercing shop. Uh, it's surprisingly difficult to find. Welcome in, Psycho. Yeah, Alright, one person is still uh, trying to figure stuff out, but I think they're getting close to, to getting it.
Sorry for the delay, folks. Where, where on the oh, how do I turn that on? I thought it already That's was on. hours difference. Or maybe it's eight hours difference, depending on which way around it is. Uh, I can answer that for you. Someone in the chat saying that it's currently Ooh. 20 minutes past midnight where they are. Uh, that would be London. Uh, yeah, it looks like Western Europe-ish, probably. The UK, I uh, should say. That would make sense. My brain was... Yeah. Am I, am I too late? You are not too late. We haven't started yet. This person was in the, the game last time, and we may have mentioned... Something. Also, if you could please join the counts so that Mayumarina is not by herself when uh, Endorse has to leave. Oh, never mind. I picked the right one. She's on the phone with her dad. Yeah. You can sense when you gotta be busy and then bam, all the calls come in. It's like parents and grandparents have a weird sense for when their children are busy and then and then they just they 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 don't hone in on that. And they're like, yeah, that's, that's the time to bother. Perfect. There's been several times I've told my grandparents, okay, I'm leaving. I'll see you in a few hours. And they just started being like, well, we have questions and want to do things with you. That's, that's not what by means. Discord chat, but you could hear it in the stream. Can you guys not hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that was me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that just what you sound like when you enter a chat? No. Yeah. That's yes. the intro song. Yes. It, it will. It will. Yeah. That's my entrance song, basically. I don't know if that goes up on the stream or not. I don't know if everyone else got treated to that. By stream, I mean Twitch. I know, Twitch. Uh, hello? Hello? 
I heard someone say hello twice. Okay, it sounds like it is going out on the stream. Amazing. Oh, okay, cool. I couldn't tell. It's probably describing yeah. all of the Discord sounds. So the entire Discord chat is Ooh. also the Twitch uh, audio. Oh, oh my. <laughs> George Decay is always welcome in the chat. So, uh, sorry it's taking so long. Um, Utubot is getting help with the laptop. Uh, everything so far is working, but she is unable to, like, Wasn't, hear... Uh, yeah, UK she's unable France, to hear us. I think it was France, maybe it was Spain. They were, uh, kind of having a fisher, fisherman's spat over an island a couple of years ago. We almost got to level, like, a military standoff. Hello, welcome in. Um, just in case, are you guys able to hear me? Okay, no yeah. one's able to hear me, so that's a problem. Yeah, you can, we can hear you. Oh, uh, you guys aren't able to hear me in Discord was the problem. Oh, yeah. So, no, to, uh, so to recap, uh, Utubot's uh, laptop is... Um, she can't hear us, hear our voices, so they're they're trying to figure out how to get that to work. Okay. Well, that's all right. The number of players is steadily growing. We're already up to ten players total. Woo! Hello. Yes, we can hear you, Hello. and you can hear us. Fantastic! We are ready to go. Beginning okay. the game. Should I thank you, Sophia? Oh yeah, you should. Here, it's let really me fix hard that. To hear what you're saying. All right, counts. Does that Our mean, mission. Does that mean that the Discord audio is all of the voices, though? Just double check. Everyone present in the voice chat is live. Uh, our mission, Chiefs, is to lower the Kingdom's authority to two or less. Just keep that goal in mind. Simultaneously, we'd like to see farming become bad, because that's what the Monarch wants. Want Unless you want to help me succeed, which that's also a possibility. Uh, so, um, to re- Only the Loyalists want to do that. So Patricians are the Loyalists, and they need to help my farming go up. Uh, yes. Looks like Chiefs of the North wants authority to go down, and, sh and Counts of the East want the authority to go up, so they have conflicting goals, which is good for me. Yeah, I honestly think the Monarch's in a pretty good spot this time. I felt that even since the last time we played, this is... Uh, All right, we're going to get going with a strange encounter. Oh snap, Patrician Sonic! For the for the last few months, your August Majesty, our new aqueduct has stood disused and forlorn. I went to visit it a few days ago. The joyous art pieces you commissioned have deteriorated. The puppies look like sad ghosts, and the clowns look frankly alarming. While I was there, I met a woman who had set up camp under one of the arches. She claimed to be researching from the look of her. I think she's a witch. A witch! Gagzooks! My thoughts exactly, your August Majesty. I hurried out of there to avoid being turned into a frog. Witches are not to be taken lightly, your August Majesty. We must consult the council. Alright, we got what should be done about the witches during doing research on the creepy abandoned building. We got send a team of inquisitors after the witch which has a 20% chance of success. We have B. Ask the witch to help you reclaim your aqueduct, which will plummet faith. Let the witch carry on doing witchy things without interference. I and... And let's... Oh, okay. Wait, what are we doing? Like, what do we need to 
Um, the Counts of the East want authority to go up. So your goal is to make a decision that supports that ending. Currently, uh, there's no choice that affects that. Does everyone know what faction they are? Uh, you know what? Let's just pull this up, just in case people need a reminder. We got Chiefs of the North have Psycho Primo, Z-King, War Vance, and Meebly. We got Counts have Caitlyn, Utubot, and Solidly Endorsed. Patricians have Hyena, King Israel, and PDX Sonic. Okay, thanks. Once again, uh, A is send a team of Inquisitors after the Witch. B, ask the Witch to help you reclaim your aqueduct. Or C, let the Witch carry on doing witchy things. Uh, if you would like more money in your coffers, I suggest you vote for B. Let the voting begin! Oh, so how do I vote? Um, counts. No counts, let's do C. Counts will make it count. Not counts, what am I saying? Chiefs, goodness. Why do those two factions have to have the same letter? Mm. Patricians, use B. All right, voting has ended. Too late. What happens when there's a tie? Uh, Game break sucks. the tie by selecting one of the options. Oh, cool, it's or me. That happens. Oh, Yay! Wow. That's corrupt. Ooh. Ooh. You would seek help really from a witch? This kingdom grows more corrupt by the day! The witch sends word that she'd be happy to speak to the king, but she's terribly busy. She wants you to travel out to meet her. Oh boy. Hilarious. This is an outrageous demand, your esteemed highness. You can't accept, both because of the risk and because of the shame. I'm sure she's friendly. You should go meet her. Um, well, let's see. I don't want my authority to plummet because that would help the north, so ignore the witch. It hurts the counts, though. That's good. You decide to let the witch carry on doing whatever it is the witches do. She can't make the abandoned aqueduct creepier, surely. I'm sure the patricians love that. Alright, end season! By royal decree, we can tweak the laws governing how the council votes. We can't pass more than three of these laws at once. Only one may be used for vote. Uh, I'm good with what we got. Oh, snap! We have Escaped Experiment, A Plague of Rats, and there's a troll in the dungeon! That sounds like Not fun. Again. Let's deal with the troll first. Okay. Uh, would you like to once again vo give voice to the marshal? Oh, yes, definitely. Your Majesty, the Palace Watcher reporting that there's a troll downstairs in the dungeon. Everybody run for your lives! Don't worry, your highness. There's no need to panic. I'll deal with the monster before it hurts anyone. I kind of want to talk to the troll. But I feel like that might go badly for me. So, I'll just leave it up to you, Marshal. Misunderstood. Yes, your majesty. It's possible that the troll is indeed misunderstood. Oh no! I should have talked to the troll. Hours later, you are informed of a bloody battle in which the beast is slain. Several soldiers are killed in the process. Oh good, it's been slain. <laughs> the troll's body is dumped in the Treadwater River. Though it's hard to keep such things a secret, Riverside peasants start spreading rumors of trolls running amok in the capital. Whoa. Wow, your perfect stability is no longer perfect. I know. Troll rumors. So tragic, so tragic. You got your you got trolled out of your stability. Also, dang, what's going on in the east? You guys have a plague of rats and an escaped experiment? Tisk oh, tisk. Oh, some problems Look. over there. Oh, snap! <laughs> very old country. Countess Caitlin here strides into the council chambers distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. Wow. That's you, Caitlin. Can you believe this? Yes, yeah, The fields and barns of the east are overrun by vermin. And we're no more poison for these horrible things. No, we've... No. Wait, okay, whatever. 
We can't cope anymore. Uh, I don't... Was there a fire? Uh, Sonic says, do they not know for the fire? And I don't remember if we lit oh, something fire. on fire. I actually think that that is an option. Once we get to it. Full tape fire. Alright, you I have a... Like a uh, you have something to say up top here. Can the council help resolve the eastern rat plague? Alright, we oh, got... This is gonna be New York City. Take that rat and go. The east can handle this alone. Deliver a supply of rat poison. Send them no, a they shipment. Wanted the they wanted what? Send them a shipment of cats or hire some adventurers to clear out the rodent. Well, here's to hoping uh, I can encourage the counts to help by giving them a boost to their uh, their goal. All right. Once again, your choices are A, make the East handle this alone. B, deliver a supply of rat poison. C, send them shipments. Or D, hire some adventurers. If you select B, you'll get more authority. Ooh, that's easy. Sounds bad. Let's vote for, um, uh, how about C? I, I, I think C is, or no, A is fine as well. Yeah, let's do A. Uh, Patricians, vote for B. Chiefs, Chiefs vote A. Bye, 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 bye. Someone else also vote A. On the We're not being very environmentally no. friendly. No. And We're being ganged up on. This is not fair. Is that fair? Five nobles voted for deliver a supply of rat poison. Oh what shit, it fair? failed? Wow. Yes! Really? It had oh, a, wait, yeah, I yes. know. It had an 80%, yes. it had an 80% success rate, so that's kind of fucked up. It I'm already still went up. I'm sorry. I'm starting to think that uh, the percentage points don't actually matter. <laughs> I mean, there's a one in five chance of failure here. Uh, you send the barrels of poison to the east. They're closely guarded, but during the night, one of the barrels goes missing. Word gets out, and rumors erupt. Who stole the barrel? Is it an assassination plot? Is the king poisoning citizens of the east? Was the rat infestation a cover story all along? The rats die off, but the unrest remains, and the missing poison is never found. Well, at least your rat problem is is fixed. Oh. I put it in. I put it in your drinking water. Escaped experiment. <laughs> An experiment. Apparently, something has escaped from the cellars of Conte Solidly Endorsed Castle. I've asked for an eyewitness report from a local. Solidly endorsed, what have you been doing down there? Hello, your majesty. It was a right unholy sight. A monster stitched together from parts dug up from the village cemetery. I recognized my Aunt Edna's earlobes. That's specific. Yeah, that's so random. That person got a really good look yeah, at that why thing. Do you, why do you know what her earlobes look like so much? An abomination! That's right, your majesty. I damn near piddled in my britches. That's gross. Get out of here. Don't tell us about that. This this dude's real weird. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Jay is not with us to give the vampire voice. So here's... I'm just going to go with a, a whisper and hope for the best. This creature is my life's work, your highness, and my son. His escape was regrettable. He just wanted to see the village up close. Rest assured, I have chained him up far more securely in my dungeon to ensure this won't happen again. It's too late for that, Conte! You and your unholy creation must be burned! It is the only way to cleanse the world of your evil! What should be done with the undead abomination created by Conte solidly endorsed? <laughs> burn both, both of them. A. Burn the monster but let Conte live. B. The monster may live as long as it stays imprisoned. C. Free the monster! Oh Jeez. boy! I say free the monster. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, let it roll. <laughs> oh my god. The T it's virus just will get out. Monster. <laughs> He's just misunderstood! Look at the troll! <laughs> Alright. 
Random background noise may now commence. Right, well, let's see. Patricia and Steve. Yeah, well. Prepare for my orders. I'll reveal them when the time is right. I don't really know. You mean when you make up your mind? I think Steve. Also, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah. And all of these choices are terrible. I don't know what to go with. I'll just go with. It's also generally advisable not to discuss our preferences. All right, or... here we go. Voting has started. Yes, C, C, no. Chiefs, Wait. C. She is amazing. Good. Free money, extra money. Get get money. Monarchs, golden choice. Money. C. Everyone vote C know, for Dave's extra money. More like the better one. Or whatever Golden's choice does, I forget. Whatever that does, do it. No. Oh shoot! I forgot to turn on Rocco. Hang on. Well done, Patricia. And counts. Oh, it fails. Oh no, Faces. Rocco! Why are you crying? No, he's Rocco. Been, he's been neglected. He has been neglected. All right, Rocco. Has... Wait, sorry. Who's solidly endorsed? Okay. Solidly endorsed is a Twitch person. Oh. All right. Awesome. Yay! Rocco's getting attention. Voting has of... closed. What should be done with the undead abomination? Oh shit! We're freeing the monster. Well, because that's not going to have really terrible consequences. Let's see what happens. No, Your Grace. The boy's not ready for freedom. This will end in disaster. The council would free this unholy monstrosity and allow its twisted creator to go unpunished. What kind of message does this send? Uh, well, that nobody believes in your bullshit. You're all mad. You'll see. Doom will come to the east. Doom! Luckily, the High Inquisitor's Prophecy proves nonsense. Oh, shit. Oh, that succeeded? What the hell? What were the odds? It was 90%. 90%. Well, my stability went back up, so I guess I can't complain. And he likes puppies. I called it. See ya! The so-called Abomination turns out to be a gentle fellow with a green thumb and a fondness for puppies. Soon enough... He's won over the villagers, who allow their children to go on piggyback rides with him. Aw, that's adorable. Can't go wrong with the hunchback. Hooray! My farming went up! Yeah! He wow, spends job, most Cam. of his... his he, bleh, he spends most of his time in the fields, growing flowers and vegetables for the community. Solidly endorsed couldn't be more proud. Yay, good job, solidly endorsed. You were in fact not doing anything illegal. End season! Alright, it looks like, uh... Here you go, a recap of your ambitions. The Chiefs of the North want to lower the authority to two. And the Counts of the East want to raise authority to eight. And uh, the Patricians of the Coast want to ensure that my ambition succeeds, which is please increase farming. We have Ambition Beloved, Wild Beast Attack, and a portal has opened. You know, let's just start with this portal. Yes, yes, Solidly Endorse, you did indeed raise your son right. Good for you. We're all so proud. Such a beautiful child. Your uh, connection crashed. Sorry, I'm back. Your creation Welcome has back. warmed the hearts of many. Thankfully, you just missed the season change-ish. Uh, Hyena, would you like to give voice to Sonic, since you are also a patrician? Uh, yeah, sure. Your August Majesty, a portal has opened on the side of your aqueduct. My scouts report that a battalion of strange blue men in glass armor have marched out of it and set up camp. What should we do? The scouts also say that these intruders are only four feet tall. Let's smash them quickly and teach them a lesson for trespassing. 
whack-a-mole. Uh, alright, so launch a surprise attack, which will end in failure, so let's not do that. <laughs> no uh, <laughs> send a diplomatic envoy, or wait and see what they can do. Alright, so I'm gonna start the vote. Your choices are B, send a diplomatic envoy, or C, wait and see! Uh, obviously, uh, Sheafs should be voting C. This is a very obvious choice that should happen immediately. Although, if it was possible to select the military option, I would have been tempted Patrician, to just to OB. see what happens. Goodness. This is going to be impossible for the Chiefs because we're always going to be ganged up on in every vote. Sounds like you need more recruits. You guys are like in solid opposition of what we're doing. I just, the, the, everyone else is too closely aligned for the outliers. All right, I guess we're sending a diplomatic way. envoy. The small blue men don't speak any recognizable language, but they gabble at your envoy with the tone of ang angry customers demanding to speak to the store owner. Oh snap, they're a bunch of Karens. Bunch of little Karens. No. Uh, That's major dumb portal. Sonic says to you, War Vance, uh, as you deserve. I saw that. I did not dignify that absurdity with a response. The blue men yeah, show the envoy an image of a human woman, and it becomes clear they're looking for the witch. It seems she stole something from them. Assure them you don't know where the witch is to be found. Offer them gold in exchange for their otherworldly secrets. Order the Inquisition to assist them. Uh, you know what? I'm interested to see how this plays out. They don't speak the language, but they like the shine of gold. In exchange, they give you a handheld device which perfectly predicts the next day's weather in big, easy-to-understand symbols. Hooray! The treasury is broke, but farming is now fruitful. Oh my god. After several weeks of, failed, of a failed witch hunt... They pack up their tents and march back to the portal as quickly and quietly as they arrive. It closes behind them. Congratulations on your weather machine. Yay, a weather machine! Alright, wild beasts! Chief uh -oh. War Vance! What's going on with me? I don't remember looking like this before. Uh, awkward. Um, your Highness, I bring ill tidings from the north. Wildlife has gone berserk in rural areas. They are attacking villages and travelers all across the region. Tell me more about these creatures. They are great hulking beasts, clearly twisted by magic. Some say they walk and talk like people. The northern warriors are afraid. They say the creatures are a dark omen, a sign. The end. Oh snap, it's Patrician Hyena the Second. By all that glitters, what's gotten into these chiefs that they can't handle a few wild animals? Wow. The other regions have plenty of their own problems, your serene highness. No one wants to march up to the frozen north for something like this. Then what am I to do? says the nation that doesn't have a military whatsoever point of order your highness through the church's presence in the north is minimal we could provide shelter for those who need it hey this looks on the breastplate all will be <laughs> welcome whether they they are adherents to the true god or not it's the least we can do i mean let's not all forget about batman forever Oh no! Wait, Batman and Robin—that's the one that had the the nipples on the costumes. Oh. Yeah. Or if you can afford it, send a detachment of mercenaries who aren't afraid of a few wild bears. That should put an end to this crisis. Wow. All right. What can the Crown do to counteract the wild beast attack? Well, can't hire mercenaries. We got tell the Northerners that they must fend themselves. 
or instruct the Thorners to seek refuge in the Ninth God's Churches. Oh man, I should have done my ambition first because both of these things oh, reduce dude. farming. <laughs> Boo! But your farming area went up, so... It did, but it's going to go back down. Um... Well, here's to... That seems like the best choice. Alright, Chiefs. I'm All right, we got... Against our own request. A. Vote A, Chiefs. Go see. Patricians. Unify under C. Chiefs under the C. Where's my other chief? Of chiefs, it should be two. We need your votes. A. Voting has I closed. For C. <laughs> Instruct the mean? northerners to seek refuge in the ninth god's churches. Oh snap! There is now no farming in the north, and y'all are starving. Wow. The arch, the archbishop instructs all churches across the north to open their doors for refugees fleeing the attacks. They are more than glad for the assistance. Over time, the beasts withdraw. The northerners are grateful for the church's help, with many finding a new place in the hearts for the ninth god and his disciples. Yay! All right, ambition. I hope it's irrelevant. <sighs> The peasants are still organizing a banquet in your honor, your majesty. Ugh, I should have tried this first. Oh well. After a few weeks, the chancellor <laughs> settles into your office looking downcast. Still not enough provisions for your surprise banquet, your majesty. The people can't throw you a proper feast without the right supplies. Mega sad. I know. To improve your chances of victory, focus on increasing the kingdom's farming as much as possible in the next two seasons. The challenge will decrease in difficulty with each failed attempt. Chancellor, womp, please, womp. stop breaking the fourth wall. Uh, okay, so we got... Uh, Grand Bazaar will increase your trade. Theater will decrease decrease authority. C, increase... Er, the fortress increases the military. D, for so the monument, uh, increases authority. Cathedral for Faith and uh, the Deer Park apparently decreases farming. So please don't do that. Because deer love to eat your food. Yep. And then all of the nobles are listed on the right-hand side. Just going to give you a few seconds to stare at the screen. I believe we should actually be funding a uh, theater... Although I like the idea of the deer park as well, because it does lower the farming. I like that. Either the theater or the deer park. Uh, looks like uh, the counts should probably invest in D, and the chiefs should invest in B, which will have conflicting results. But who am I to judge? Starting the auction, you have one minute. Same. Bye, money. Someone please fund B. Fund B. Psycho Primo, you have money. Love it. Uh oh. Get ready. Surprise funding. Well, it looks like we the buildings it. that have funded are monument, which <laughs> increases authority, and theater, which decreases authority, so they cancel each other out. Good job, well, everyone. At least we prevented them from improving. Right? Better than nothing. Alright, let's let's just start with my thing first, which is bankruptcy looms. Fun. 
floor. The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Uh, what do you suggest we do? Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You could get a bank loan, or sell off the crown jewels, or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tomes. Most are buried with piles of gold, or so I've heard. Uh, well, I could just make my own mint. Last time, I cracked open some tomes, and a lot of people were upset, so... Um... That's because those are tombs, not tomes. Which are, you know, a, a body burial place versus a book. Oh, am I pronouncing this it wrong this whole time? I think so, maybe. Alright, so last time I cracked open some tombs and I got in trouble. So let's try selling off the royal jewels. You auction off a dozen of necklaces, five gold rings, and a jewel scepter to the nobles. It is a humiliating yes. affair selling off symbols of power. Makes you look weak and desperate. Yes. Uh, oh no, oh, Lord yes. Patrician, Hyena, you're... Uh, oh, you bought the tiara. Oh, look at this tiara fetching, isn't it? Don't mind if I do. Too bad they don't like put it on top of your little. Wow. Hey, yeah, check out this. All their money. Hey, check out this scepter. It looks like I'm king. All right, cool. I got more money. All right, there's apparently a riot in the north. Ah, welcome back, fellow patrician. Uh. War Vance, since you're a member of the Chiefs of the North, would you like to give voice to Psycho Primo? Do that. Your greatness, the famine in the North grows worse by the day. Riots are breaking out in all the major townships, from Shkamra to Thormgard. Starving mobs are pillaging bakeries, granaries, and merchant houses. What are we to do? Uh, I guess, oh. I feel like A is the obvious choice here. Um, I'm pretty sure feeding the people is, you know, the solution no. to a famine. No, just get the military involved. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, um, I feel like perhaps the East would be kind enough to send their grain over to the North. All right, so your only two options are A, send in the army to control the riots, or D, order grain supplies to be diverted from the east. Starting the vote. Solidly endorsed says, why is the north always having a famine? Is it RNG or is the game predisposed to run that? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. Grow food for man. Wow, look at this. We're all united. Uh, we're missing, uh, it looks like we're missing one vote from a member of the North. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Chiefs. It seems like Z King has never done anything. It's possible Once they went it. AFK and I missed it. Nine yes. nobles voted for order That's grain awesome. supplies to be diverted from the East. The Defiance is now insolent. Trade is now desperate. Farming is bountiful, and the oh no, Countess Utobot, your wealth has decreased. How dare you take our goods from us without compensation? We had a very valuable trade deal in place. We plan to sell that grain to Sol for a steep profit. Now that's fallen through, and I'd already paid for the cargo space. You sound like a patrician. Oh, that made us not. Horrific. Uh, oh, shut up, Blackwit. My people are starving. Solidly endorses unity on one issue, and it's stealing our grain! We can all agree that be a Blackwit. Immense quantities of surplus grain are diverted from the east to the north, and once peasants have bred again, riots cease. There's enough to tie them over until the next harvest. Oh, good. 
My farming still overall increased by one. Yay. Oh my god. So it worked out. New gods! Chief Meeply! You have no Uh, yourself. I know. Uh, ooh! We already beat that. Um, your greatness, I've come to thank you in the Ninth Church for your kindness during the so called season of clock. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad for their help. Uh. I'm going to guess it's pronounced Little JD or Lil JD. Welcome in. It looks like you are now part of the Chiefs of the North. Welcome to the best faction. Uh, just to recap, Chiefs, Chiefs of the North are trying to uh, produce the horn blower by lowering the kingdom's authority to two or less. We're so close. There's more for you to say. Oh shit, not paying attention, sorry. Uh, the creature's attacks have eased, I can only imagine why, but thank the gods for it. Both old and new. Um... I'll just say, there's no need to thank us. Once the chief has bowed her head to leave you, your archbishop is quick to lean over to you. Meddling archbishop. Oh, I remember this one, yeah. Your Majesty, we are presented with a golden opportunity to expand the church's influence. Should we capitalize, er, we should capitalize on this goodwill immediately. All right, we got, what will the kingdom do to capitalize on the North's newfound faith in the Ninth God? Send missionaries to the furthest reaches of the North. Leave the northerners to their pagan ways. <laughs> uh, let's leave the northerners to their pagan ways. <laughs> Voting now! Yes. Alright, leave them to the no leave them to the pagan ways. Yeah, I think I like that as well. Because We like, we like what we are. Freedom's nice. Oh wow, we almost got, we almost got the full noble list to vote. So close. Yeah, I think the chiefs are actually down one from the list there. So it's really four versus three versus three. So I think everyone who's present is actually voting. Leave the Northerners to their pagan ways. The council decides against kicking the hornet's nest or the sleeping bear, as they, as the case may be. You reason the ninth god will judge them accordingly in their after, anyways. The authority is now credible. Oh crap! I didn't know it would do that to the authority. Oh wait, I should have known because of the end Northern season. Dang it! What was I thinking? The patricians strike a lucrative trade deal with Saul worth 500 wealth. Other nobles gain 200 wealth. And I will just leave the taxes as they are and proceed to the next season. Alright, I learned my lesson last time, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with my ambition. The peasants are still organizing a banquet in your honor. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I fail with 90%? What is this? Oh this, this is such bullshit. No, those odds are right. I know, that's it's why I'm just, or higher. I'm just like, this is so dumb. How is it? How? Whatever. At this point, I'm, it's like, I, I just think it's like, it's telling you the percent chance, but it's not telling you, it's saying like, 90% chance to fail, or 90% chance to succeed, like... Yeah, it's not telling you which way is biased. <sighs> <laughs> this is Pretty starting sure to, like... To this is starting to, like, stress me out. Alright, still not <laughs> enough provisions for your surprise banquet, your majesty. The people can't throw you a proper feast. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yes, thank you for telling me. I appreciate that. Alright, I can't... What this says? Vilthrander? What is Vilthrander? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Yulthrander. Well, I still don't know what that is. Your Majesty, the creatures that have been ravaging our countryside, they are Uthrander. Uh, Yulthrander? Yulthrander, your greatness. People of the North turned into horrible creatures through ancient ritual. Where, beasts? We should act swiftly, then. You're not one of them, Wait. <laughs> the Majesty, there's something else you should know. Uthrander, they're fanatics. They attack us because they believe we have turned against our old gods. They wish to see the influence of your ninth god completely eradicated in the north. Hello, welcome in, Super Pink. It looks like you are on Team Patricians. Uh, just to uh, recap, uh, the Patricians of the Coast are loyalists, and their goal is to increase farming. We're getting in closer and closer to success, so I hope you will join us in this journey of feeding the people of the nation. Oh, farming! Another Patrician! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Your Archbishop is incensed, but you calm him with a wave of your hand. A vote must be called. The wild yeah, beasts attacking the <laughs> the wild beasts attacking the North have been exposed as fanatical weir creatures. How should the Crown respond? Let's see. We got A. Ban all pagan practices in the North. B. Send monster hunters after the Yulthrander Yulth leaders. Or C. Invite beast folk to the capital for an audience. Well, I don't want my treasury to plummet, so I'm just gonna go veto that option. So A, ban pagan practices, or C, invite the beast folk to the capital, because that'll definitely go well. I like C, because I feel like there's a trend of like misunderstood. <laughs> Patricians go A. C. But you know. C, my chiefs. How dare they attempt to suppress us? Oh snap, the patricians have a split vote! Aww. Oh, come on, we have more counts. Our chiefs, chiefs, I mean, we have more chiefs. Vote C. Actually, everyone can vote C. Everyone's invited. Yes. It's no, okay. It it's okay, King. I understand. Beast people are pretty cool. Oh, it's still not enough. No! <laughs> Six nobles oh. voted for ban all pagan practices in the north! It's clear that direct action must be taken. You banned worship of all but the ninth god in the north and strong arm the chiefs into enforcing the decree. Villages, oh shit. Villages uh, burn, shrines destroyed, families are turned against one another, and anyone who is suspected of aiding the Yulthrander is hauled away by the Inquisitors. Soon they're coming after anyone with a slightly hairy chest. And oh, holy crap, your, defi your defiance is now treasonous! Authority oh, yeah. is now this imperialist. Is As uh, mm -hmm. northerners begin converting converting in droves, the influence of the old gods wanes, and Yothrander with them. You hope it was necessary as the chiefs are not likely to forget this anytime soon. Yeah, no kidding. We will never forget this. All right. Printing press. Oh, whoops. Uh, my Twitch thing crashed, so I can't see the chat. Give me just a second. Chiefs have the strongest military. It'd be absolutely hilarious to see what happens if we rebel. Uh, seems like fun, man. Yeah. We're more we're defiant enough to do it. Okay. Uh, Your Serene it. Highness, a ble Oh, just kidding. Uh, I am not a patrician. Can't deny. Very... Very sharp looking dude there. Alright, well, no takers, so I will go ahead and give voice to King Israel. Your Serene Highness, a blacksmith in the coast has come up with some sort of printing contraption. Instead of relying on the painstaking effort of scribes, it produces 100 copies of text an hour. That sounds remarkable! Yes, Your Esteemed Highness, isn't technology wonderful? Uh, chiefs. Yeah. 
Don't oh. you see how dangerous this is? Oh. Books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Oh no. All right, if you want more money for your coffers, vote for the vote for C. Only universities may use the printing press. Otherwise, we have A, allow printing presses to be used by the masses. B, only the church may use printing presses. C, universities may use printing presses. Or D, forbid the use of printing presses altogether. What is your question? Can we see the nobles list real quick? I need to make sure that I reconnected to Twitch properly. Uh, it's not going to kick you out of your team. Okay. It, it'll only kick you out of the team if you if I uh, like quit the game. Well, speaking of, um, okay. I'm going to uh, leave home a little bit. I have some chores I gotta do. Tragedy. Oh man! All right, starting the vote. Oh boy, what do we want? Please vote for C! Go for C, Patricians! I think we should vote for A, because it lowers everything we want to see lowered. Or, I guess C yeah. is fine, too. C I is fine, voted. too. Well, it's one of our other people voted C, so... I'm trying to keep unified? Well, for some I, reason, that's yeah. hard. <laughs> I, I liked A better, I, I think, because... Um... Voting has closed. Five nobles voted for. Only the university may use printing presses. At least this still lowers one thing I wanted to. Look. Quail University will be proud to take stewardship of this marvelous new technology. Over the next few months, the university publishes countless educational texts, spreading knowledge that had once been confined to its own library. Stability is now peaceful. Ooh. It proves immense in its boon to trade and farming as the common folk learn advanced techniques for increasing crop and mining yields. The North's trade is prosperous. The coast trade is opulent. Trade is now poor oh, in the East. Trade is now poor. And all That's farming has increased across the board. Yay! Ooh. Unfortunately, Quail University also publishes a few histories of the kingdom that don't paint the monarchy in a flattering light. My authority is now five. Yes. Oof. That makes I up know, for right? all those other stat moves that I didn't like. In season! Very much worth it, though. It's so worth it. Okay, can we just rebel already? Uh, I think you might have the opportunity to screw me over. Pretty sure that if we're not getting our way, we should just throw a temper tantrum. Alright, chiefs of the north are on the verge of rebellion. Counts cannot start a rebellion, and neither can the patricians of the coast. And now, uh, looks like a whole bunch of more people are on the loyal on Team Loyalist. It's because there's been no rebellion yet. All right, chiefs may vote to rebel by typing exclamation point rebel. Do it! Holy crap! Why arise. is all this? Why is all this stuff happening in the east? You poor, you poor eastern. Like, uh, look at this! You got a stone maiden, a tasty innovation, and a burglary. Yes! A I will lead us to victory! You can't rebel. No. A burglary! who? Drakov's bones! I've been robbed! Oh, well, the my cops manor. What? Sorry. My manor has been ransacked and my money stolen. Lol. There have been more and more robberies in the east of late, Your Majesty. I suspect it's something to do with the thieves' guild that was established there recently. We need to hunt down these thieves like rats. Maybe we can even get my wealth back. What should be done about the thieves' guild? Put the eastern sheriffs on high alert. Spare no expense hunting the thieves down. Uh, nope. Uh, the king shall pay... Uh, thievery insurance. Oh boy. Well, I can barely afford that. This matter is beneath the council's notice. I think he 
can change which one you vetoed if you want to go back. Yeah, but it looks like, um... It looks like B would cost me more money than... Yes, we can bankrupt them. What it... It looks uh, like... Okay, yeah. I think, I think the ones... Okay, so the coins are the treasury. The bag is the like the nobles' money. Oh, okay. I mean, B is fine as well, I guess. Okay, so we got. <laughs> okay, so uh, A, your choices are A, put the eastern sheriffs on high alert. B, spare no expense hunting down the thieves. Or D, this matter is beneath the council's notice. Starting the vote now. Okay, Chiefs, what do we want? Sheriffs, A. Patricians, we need help with the sheriffs. Okay, let's do D, Chiefs. Go with D. Is that a lower authority? Here's a reminder of what team you're on. Three-way tie across party lines. That's beautiful. Uh, now it's not. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Looks like B. Oh, no, a traitor. <laughs> well, that's fine, too. It also... It, it, Four it nobles would have forespelled their expense hi, uh, hunting the thieves down. Uh, you order a massive recruitment drive for the Eastern Sheriffs and even hire adventurers to bolster the ranks. Yeah, dude, seriously... Such efforts oh, quickly. You vote. Such efforts quickly pay off. The leader of the thieves guild is brought to you, or brought before you in chains. Down with the thieves guild. My money, yeah, most yeah, pleasing. Time to face the noose, you cur. Conte solidly endorses wealth increased by a whole lot, and defiance for the east is now uh. Hey, we got a lot of money now. You don't understand. We didn't just appear in the East at random. We had a financial backing from members of this very council. We were funded by... Convenience. Convenient cutoff. His sentence ends in a gurgle. A feathered arrow appears in his neck. The council erupts in chaos, but the culprit is never found. From that Good moment... Romance. From that moment forward, what little trust had existed between council members is broken. But at least the Eastern economy recovers once the Thieves' Guild is disbanded. Oh no, my stability! Oh, Alright, no. we have a tasty innovation! Countess Caitlin! Oh, oh! I don't mean to exaggerate your praise, but I believe I have pioneered the most incredible invention in the history of mankind. Ooh! Not womankind. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah. I was hosting a small party playing cards with some old friends. I called for a servant to bring me something to eat that was both tasty and convenient as my hands were occupied. I was like those Pringle can things that were like, they're supposed to shovel Pringles into your mouth. That would be amazing. And they hook up to your headset. That was actually a thing. And, okay, well, never mind. I'm gonna <laughs> talk about it later. What my servant brought me that evening will change the world forever. Wait, so you didn't even... Uh, it, it kind of sounds like your servant invented it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm bored with That's that. That's the same thing. Yes, well, <laughs> I employ him, so I own the idea. It's only fair. A uh, way to endorse I capitalism. I want to scream. I literally signed that document where I currently work. My ideas are the company's. Behold! Which is why I don't give them any good ideas. She holds in the air a plate. Atop the plate are two slices of bread with a piece of meat wedged between them. Gross. I call it a sambalama. <laughs> That's part of your job description, though. Is to, to come up ide with ideas for your company. So I call it a bread bloater. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, solidly yeah, endorses says so sandwich plot. Yeah, baby. Wait until someone steals a patent for it. Um, it allows the hungry noble to consume two slices of bread plus meat all at once. 
I, I oh, didn't get that last bit, but it's okay. Crazy. Meanwhile, the bread serves as an impenetrable barrier that prevents one's hands from being beskirmished by meaty juices. Uh, besmirched. Oh, besmirched? Yes, okay. besmirched. Ingenious! <laughs> Take it. Those are the only good things. Naturally, since this is my invention, I propose we name it after me. In a few years' time, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice cake. <laughs> No, I don't like that. A nice well, Caitlin here for lunch. No. <laughs> hot dog, also Delicious. a sandwich. Basically. Naturally, this innovation cannot be made available for free. Every time a Caitlin here is consumed, I expect a small royalty payment. Uh, yeah, for the thing that your servant created? Yes. I mean, of course, I'll still pay him exactly the same. Yes. But, you know, he gets to keep his job. Right. In a pizza party. He's getting paid at the market rate. Yeah, market rate value. <clears throat> he did sign an NDA, so. All right, we got A. Give Caitlin here the royalties she deserves. B. No, Caitlin here are too delicious to be controlled. Or D. The servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? Starting. Oh, said servant. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to know that. Start the vote. Oh. Yeah. Like, I oh, don't D. know what oh, we care so about. Uh, solidly endorse says you guys are paying your servants. Uh, well, Sonic Sonic okay. says a hot dog is an open faced sandwich. Whatever his no. face deserves recognition, or whatever their face. Yeah. Okay. I feel bad for him, even though I'm. Nah, Alright, yeah. let's do justice for the servant. I'm glad that the council could come together to uh, give this man vindication. I was gonna say, damn, you guys all voted to help the servant. He needs to Basically get the voting against my own interests. We are all class traitors. <laughs> voting has closed! Eleven nobles voted for the servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? He oh. wouldn't have invented the snack and specifically requested a convenient meal. Just just take the L, Kate. <laughs> Despite Countess Caitlin here's protestations, the servant is brought before you. Um spin in uh, a sandwich. Hello, your majesty. Most people call me footlong due to my um <laughs> large feet. Oh shit, it's a subway sure, reference. Sure, sure. Ooh, foot long. I like the sound of that. It is hence for it is decided henceforth this innovation dish shall be called foot long. Foot longs prove a massively popular luncheon. Bakeries spring up across the east, experimenting with new ingredients. Turns out you can put almost anything between two pieces of bread. Trade in the east is now dynamic. Nice. Oh my god. Have they invented the automatic? Bread slicer, though, yeah. Uh, Soon. not Soon. yet, apparently. It's on its way. Well, I mean, it's so basically a without... Oh, snap! It's yeah. Countess Utobot! Behold, you're great. Countess Utobot pulls aside a tarp tarpaulin to reveal a granite statue of Countess, Countess Caitlin here. The statue is impeccably detailed. It's expression a frozen grimace. Uh, Utabot, uh, why do you have a statue of Caitlyn? Is there something you'd like to tell us? Just look at all the noble spaces on that picture. I just... Like, oh, bad. <laughs> you mean, why didn't she do this sooner? <laughs> They're all silently judging me. <laughs> yeah, fair. it's not even, like, silently. It's like, like, like there's a like, gasp. A few. Alright. You have more to say. A sad sight, is it not? 
The sculptor is most talented. <laughs> That's not a statue, is it? Oh no! Did you did you Medusa Caitlin here? Uh oh. No, you're right. Was it, this was, was no it statue. I don't think I did it. It's not my fault. Was it because I tried to take a someone's idea? It seems the stone maiden is abroad in the east. Uh, who's that? She's abroad. <laughs> She's a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All who meet her gaze are turned to stone. She sleeps for years at a time before waking and terrorizing the kingdom. Objection hearsay. She must have ambushed countless Caitlyn here on her latest walk in the cemetery. Who walks in the cemetery? You guys are counts. Oh Why? no, Caitlyn, you died! Oh my Aww. god. Serve it. Oh my no. god. Please, for Grace, we must do something. Katie, you leveled up. Good job. Yeah, I did. There's a new Level one. Level 2, Katie. What can be done to stop the stone maiden before she petrifies someone else? Oh my god. Oh dang, wizard fits a lot, but he can't there's not an option. Wow, it's there's like Apparently B, you send an army to smash this thing to the to rubble. C, tell everyone in the east to hide, or D, consult fairies for a solution. Wow, this is like <laughs> Why do I feel like no everyone's man. going to choose fairies? Uh, cause that's the closest one to, like, winning. Yes. Uh, Psycho Primo says, Maybe. whoever died probably deserved it. Oh. Don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, also, also, Solidly Endorsed says, I bet you stopped your servants from unionizing. That's what like, you get for shafting your employees. I don't let them talk. I saw the, their lips shut. So. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, brutal! <laughs> <laughs> but how did it eat for you then? All right, starting the vote, and I pulled up the Nova list in case you need a reminder. Oh, Let's just best odds. Consult the fairies, yeah. I guess. B, B, Chiefs B. Uh -oh, oh, that's the most that's worst not... time notification. Wow! 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 Chiefs are really good at this. We're good at voting, I, folks. We have, the, we have the highest numbers. Or it's I, tied for the highest. I fucked up because a notification appeared over the chat window right when I was going to type. Oh, no. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then it just didn't. Yes, patricians, we are united. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. That's what this works. We were outnumbered no matter the what. You send for yep. an expert folklorist from Quail University. According, ah, it failed. According to legend, oh, according to legend, the stone maiden mourns her long lost love, the third god. Perhaps she seeks revenge on the ninth god who drowned her lover. It's an interesting theory, but it's hardly helpful. Unfortunately, your council draws a blank on the best course of action. You can only yes. watch helplessly at what comes next. No, my farming! Down. God damn it! Yes, farming went down. The Civility stone, down. the stone maiden in rage, stalks the east for weeks on the end and turning thousands of peasants into twisted granite figures. Jesus. That sucks. Not like we have better options with the other choices. Uh, at long last, she retreats into her lair deep underground. Falls asleep once more. On the bright side, the crowns now have plenty of oddly realistic uh, statues to sell. Jesus. Well, we went from like zero to seven on trade there. Well, my, my farming is still good. Trading got really nice for the counts. All right, apparently the chiefs are voting to rebel. The kingdom is in rebellion. Oh joy! Oh, I, What's that? Right now, are you gonna be able to take me out of the game? No. Uh, once you're in the game, uh, that's it. Okay. 
so you can leave. You just, you just, um, the council be down one vote. Since we have the most powerful military in all the land, even the combined forces of all of our enemies is insufficient to match our might. All right. Might as well deal. I'll just deal with the rebellion first. Have a good game, you guys. Bye, thank you for playing. Later, Keith. Bye. Down to the ground. Bye. At long last, the chiefs have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Chief Psycho Primo. His tattoos seemingly shift in the light of the braziers. Uh. Chiefs of the North will rip that false crown from your head and stomp it into the mud. You will be fighting for glory, for honor, and for Odmund, the true king. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other... See oh, sorry, that was you. My bad. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other will be on the battlefield. Come along now, traitors. Get the chop. What? That's you. What? But you can't. Do this. I'm an envoy. See? See how the king's tyranny grows worse by the day? Your watchman wastes no time. Chief Psycho Primo is dragged out to the courtyard and his head is struck from his shoulders. Oof. Wow. I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. What are I our like chances? how they have a second, like, the sun, like, to succeed them, by the way. The chiefs are formidable, but not undefeatable. I hope they don't persuade any other regions to join the rebellion. That would be disastrous. That how did things awesome. get this bad? The leader of the rebellion is Chief Wolvance. They're citing your past transgressions as reasons for the uprising. The completely pointless dancing ban. Angering the ancient tree grove for the sake of some lumber. Is it too late to apologize? It's too late! It is. Now's the time for swords, not words. So this is it? Civil war? Yes, word. It's anything but civil. That's right, your majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before this is all over. I'm, I'm glad you think so, Rocco. I can't wait. I'll go dig out the trebuchets. Yeah, I was gonna say, it seems like every time I play this game with War Vance, his goal is just <laughs> fuck the monarchy. And to be honest, it's really frustrating. Alright, sickness That's spreads. Game. Yeah, and the only way that you'll be on team uh, Let Tia win is if you're on my actual team. Which we did win. Your esteemed highness, a terrible sickness is spreading among my troops in the coast. What troops? We don't have any troops. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, your military is nothing. We got Steve, and he's got like this like really cool stick. Uh, solidly endorse says, well, he's not called Peace Vance. It's true fact. <laughs> uh, what can we do also about it? Life, though. If we let the disease run its course, we'll have lost a lot of soldiers we can't afford to lose. But I'm not sure how much we can do. Perhaps the council can see a way forward? I can see a way forward. Tell Stevie can't come to town. I think the sickness should be allowed to spread amongst our enemies. See? D would <laughs> seem to be the ideal choice. Go for C, Patricians. D, the 
reduce the military capability of our enemies. We can't afford to lose any more military. From zero to zero. Chiefs vote D. If we go to negative point one. Oh Anyone my who god. who cares about freedom, vote D. They deserve it. Why aren't our votes registering? No idea. Oh yeah. Um, it's because uh, you guys are leave. you guys are rebelling, so you can no longer vote because you're not oh. part of the council anymore. Hilarious. I mean, I knew that. So that's that's what happens when you rebel. You can no longer vote in the council. I. We're still chance citizens. Fails. We still get uh, nope. Not letting us vote while we're actively militarily engaging you. <laughs> Five nobles voted Sanity. for quarantine the diseased and order the healthy to leave them behind. Done. Oh my god, I won with 40%? How? Why is it that the lower one won, but the higher percentage <laughs> the one? Ugh, I'm so, I hate this game. You order the diseased soldiers quarantined in a separate camp. The rest are marched off to a safe distance. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently I succeeded somehow, and my authority is now credible. <laughs> Solidly uh, endorses. says, if you're in a rebellion, you can't board Abort. Vote. I don't know why I said board. Uh, rebelling against the government, except for the democratic process. Yeah, good, the, good job. You uh, lost your democratic process. Uh, dozens of, zol of soldiers lie about their symptoms to save their own skins, but fortunately your officers root them out. They're sent back to quarantine. Very few soldiers... In quarantine camp, survive, but the sickness stops spreading among your healthy troops. Sometimes sacrifices must be made, and you have no military, so that result didn't matter. Oh my god, Steve! Alright, opening strike! Chief, this is a conversation between the chiefs. Too long we have those bastards in the Kremlins held us bound. Too long have they called us heathens and mocked our way of life. Sorry, I'm fixing something. Give me a second. It's also your first okay. plan. I moved the uh, the sticker frame so that way it, it'll slap the, the screen where the people are. Correction, he was I, our only line of defense. I saw someone interested in throwing stickers on the screen, so I just adjusted the sticker radius. Aye! Uh, aye! Now is the time to take up our axes and fight back. Morgana is with us. We'll burn their churches and string up their lying priests. Aye! Aye. Now I ask you, brave chiefs of the free north, where will we strike first? Don't go for Steve, please. We can launch a preemptive strike against the Counts to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the Counts may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the King's authority is low. So I'm curious, since a nation is actively rebelling, does that mean my ambition is put on hold? I believe it is. I think so. Okay. I don't even so, I don't even know how to stop a rebellion. You must you, defeat us on the field of battle. Yep. Or finally, we could send off an assassin to nip this in the butt. Dishonorable, of course, but convenient. Right, only the uh, Chiefs of the North are voting for this. A, launch a preemptive strike. B, call upon the Counts to join our cause. Or C, send an assassin after the King. Looks like choice. Yes. Looks like choice A is is has a higher chance of success. 
but it would be fantastic if it joins. Um, voiding is ending. Call. You have four seconds. Three, two, a, it's one. But I, Welcome, Perthro. I can understand Psycho's position, though. Welcome in, Perthro. It's nice to go for Unity, but the, we have to weigh the, the percentages in our favor. Perthro has joined the counts. Utsubot, you have another team member. You joined the counts right as it's going to be attacked by the most powerful military in the game. Because I think solidly endorsed that they have to leave soon. The Chiefs yes. launch a surprise attack on the Monster. east, slashing and Monster. burning their ways across field and farmlands. They they catch a regiment of the Eastern Army unawares and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to oh, a man. Of course, now it's at sea. You're yes. right. Common folk whispered that the battleground will be stained red for generations. <sighs> Why is it that the lower percentages are winning? That's like so annoying. I like had an opportunity to like get my ambition going, but my 90% failed. Like what the fuck is that? That seems to be like a really common uh, thing with this game every time I've played is the higher percentages lose more often than they win. It's paying attention to what? Sorry, I um uh, yeah, I was saying <laughs> I was like it's it's a fallacy. It's it's just paying attention to your stream time. If you haven't been streaming long enough, it just makes you feel automatically. Ugh, okay, the northerner soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the east devastated in their wake. Well, it sounds like, looks like another rebellion is going but to But wait, the counts are win. supposed to have the authority up. <laughs> End season. Alright, we have an auction going. We have, um, Deer Park for A, Grand Bazaar for B, Monument for C, Thieves Guild for D, um, E is Aqueduct, and F's Theater. I'll give you a few moments to look at the screen. I'm not sure that all of the nobles are listed, so I'm going to pull this up also. Give you all a chance to look at it. There's nothing here? I can think of... Yeah, the, lowering the authority lower. might be good, but I don't know if it... Uh, Psycho, I have not started the auction yet. I was just giving everyone a moment to, <laughs> to look at the screen. Okay, I'm assuming that's enough time to look, so starting the auction now. You have 60 seconds. Our goal no longer is necessarily to lower authority, but I guess um, we could also just try to raise our own trade, maybe. I don't know. Nothing here seems to really be relevant. Uh, patricians, if you could try to uh, build an aqueduct, I would really appreciate it. As you wish. You guys have a lot of money too, so that should be an easy thing to succeed at. I, what? I don't know what you mean. Once again, I would request. I would really like an aqueduct to be built, please. Thank you. No one cares. Actually, wait, wait, I take that back. They do care. Um, crap! I didn't. Oh, hooray! Oh, you vote. You uh, you funded it the last minute. Good job. Thank you. Dang it! I forgot to. I didn't have my vote typed in. I'm ready to go at the last. Second. For the monarchy. All right, we got chiefs are rebelling. They got one point towards victory. Um, I'm not actually sure how the loyalists get victory points, to be honest. You have to win battles. The thing about this is that, uh, you... Twitch will not let you send an identical message more than once within a 30 second period. So it yep. kind of screws with voting a little bit, yep. too. Yep, it's nasty. When you're trying to fund multiple times in a row, if it's the same amount yeah. each time, it'll catch it and not let you do it. Okay. Um, let's go with keep them sweet. You must have noticed the Counts aren't happy, Your Majesty. 
The rebels have a keen eye, and they'll take advantage of the situation. If the East join the rebellion, we'll be in serious trouble. It's high time you ask the Counts directly what they need. I'll do it. Where would I be without you? There's a hint of a smile, and then it's gone. When you call the Council, the Counts whisper amongst themselves, glancing in your direction. Uh, Conte Pethro. How long will this take? Each minute I spend away from my lands, I sense the Chief's approach. Uh, who would like to be Lady Patrician Super Pink? Indeed, it's not been the easiest time for any of us. I just hope we can all have a productive time. How can the Crown encourage the Counts to keep fighting? Wow, uh, none of these are helpful. Well, here's to hoping that B does something. The only good choice that I can help with is appoint some Counts as military advisors. Ignoring the situation would have catastrophic uh, results. So please vote for B. Vote Starting for the B. vote now. And remember, Chiefs, you can't vote. Oh, I'm going to go do something real quick. Get that money! Only 30% chance, though. I mean, considering how uh, this game has been screwing me with all the high percentages fail and all the low ones succeed. But knowing me, the game just hates me and just all my ambitions are just gonna fail. Uh, Six Nobles voted for appoint some counts as a military advisor. Yep, there it goes. Uh, you place a group of counts in charge of an emergency advisory committee. Several weeks later, the marshal comes to see you. Those counts are an absolute pain. Every time I make an order, they squabble over details like children. It makes everything take hours. I'm fobbing them off with paperwork for now, but they don't like it. Sure enough, the committee dissolves the arguments, the counts are not pleased at all, and failed the committee or er, and the failed committee hampers the war effort. Not only that, but the partitions feel the East is getting special treatment and soon they will complain as well. Oh joy. Oh, join us. Switch sides. Sorry, counts about butchering and murdering you guys. If you could just forget about that, you could join us. All will be forgiven. An unexpected uh, opportunity. And get killed again? I think not. Your Majesty, as the Chiefs were marching through the coast, they were hit by a fierce rainstorm. Damn. Unable to progress, progress through the mud, they've set up camp beside the Gold Spool River. So, they're setting ducks? More like standing swans. Precisely, we must strike. Don't be foolish, Marshal. Do you think our own troops are immune to the weather? We'll have the same problem. If I may suggest another option, Your Majesty. The chiefs are drawing all their water from the Goldspool River. If we were to poison it upstream, their troops would suffer greatly. Fighting a war with poisons leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but not as bad as the taste it'll leave in the mouths of the chiefs. Ha! Let's do it! Welcome in. Yes, welcome in. Uh, I am not sure how to pronounce your name, though. Gatesker? It says the guster in meat speak. Oh, okay. okay. This is a war well, it, crime. Where do we get all this poison? If we herd all the cattle in, in the coast onto the riverbank, upstream and allow their all of their effluence to flow freely into the river, the water will be contaminated. It's hard to fight on an unsepped stomach. Oh cool, I did get it right. Ninth above, you are devious. I don't feel comfortable with this, your majesty. I'll need council uh, I'll need the cou council approval before I proceed. 
Yeah, cat, come back when you've created the community expansion, then we'll follow the rules. Uh, looks like, uh, the Jester is now on Team Patricians. Yes! Which means the Patricians are trying to support King Kato. Which was to increase my farming, but there's current rebellion, so I don't know if it matters. Uh, oh. All right, uh, op option A is rebel uh, ambush the rebellion camp with all the available coastal troops, which they don't have any, so that does not going to succeed. Uh, B is poison the Goldspill River. It has a 90% success rate, but every time I've selected a 90%, it's lost, so I don't know. What up, Grab? Uh, C, let the opportunity pass by. I'm starting the vote now. Welcome in, Zuria. Dude. Let's poison the river. <sighs> this totally isn't going to have consequences. Oh, Indeed, Japester. Uh, well, unless their authority goes up to eight, um, they're not going to win. So well, It's about to go up to seven. I mean, that's fine, as long as it's not eight. Will be next time. Patricians, you're going to lose. The queen is betraying you, and you're the loyalists. Look, I'm not trying to betray the patricians. I'm just trying to get the counts on board with what I want. You won't regret this, your majesty. Leave everything to me. My authority is now imperious. All right, this game is really starting to stress me out. I feel I, all this criticism is like making me like really hot and sweaty, and I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, over the you next, are really hot. over the yeah, thanks. Over the next week, <laughs> hundreds of farmers across the coast rise to the occasion. They gather their cattle and drive them to the banks of the Goldsville River upstream, or upstream of the stuck rebel camp. Oh, yay, you can stay! That's point. awesome! Congrat- That's so exciting that you can stay for the whole thing. I I'm sorry your thing got cancelled. I hope you were looking- I hope that uh, it was something uh, casual and you weren't looking forward to it so that you can uh, be happy about not having to go. Yes, that's actually a much better response than what I said. Uh, Jester says, uh, there are more patricians than counts. We would have outvoted them, Your Majesty. Oh, I guess that's true. Uh, literally tons of effluence pour into the water. By all accounts, it turns a lovely shade of chocolate brown. Within the within days, the northern troops who had been drinking happily from the river find themselves spewing at both ends. What? That's nasty. Uh, it has a terrible effect on the reb on rebel morale, of course, especially when they run out of clean water. Hooray! What did I tell you? That softened them up nicely. Oof. Hooray! A point to the loyalists! How exciting! A great battle! Oh boy. We still outnumber them two to one! Yes, yeah, so we all appreciate your partici uh, participation, but we also hope your real life things uh, succeed. Um, can we see the teams again? Oh, or yes. Yes, teams? my bad. We got the Chiefs, Please. Psycho Primo, uh, little JD, War Vance, Meeply, and Z King are on the Chiefs team. The counts have Caitlyn, Utubot, Solidly Endorse, and Pethro. Uh, Caitlyn here is currently no longer playing. Uh, the Patricians have Hyena, PDX Sonic, King Israel, Super Pink, and the Jester. Are these more Rick is Rick? Graham, if you'd like to join, you just have to hit exclamation join. Uh, and then and your pronoun, preferred pronoun. Oh, whoops. Uh, I misread it. That's my bad. Uh, vast armies darken the landscape like shadows of the clouds. 
Uh, flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of the boots. The king is gripped with civil war. At least, that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent in the safety of her palace, pouring over a giant mask with your marshal. Your Majesty, the army of the North is advancing on the capital, led by that treacherous Kerr, War Chief War Vance. Th that was the marshal, not me, dude. We good, we good. Not good. Mega sad. I've received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the coast. They march now to intercept the chiefs in a matter of days. Yes, with your zero what? troops. I what zero. what forces? <laughs> Alternatively, they could join forces with the Army of the East. It's risky, but together they'd have a higher chance of defeating the accursed chiefs. Would they though? At this point, we don't even have the Steve anymore, we just have the stick. What are your orders, your majesty? Yes, we have what we have Steve with a stick, but a sharper stick. Uh, the patricians and the counts should join forces. He calls it a spare. Very well, your majesty. I'll relay your orders to noble patrician Japester, the commander in the field. Oh, it's Japester. Oops, I was saying Jester. My bad. Hopefully they'll do as they're told. God knows, treachery can thrive on a battlefield. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, your band of fool. It's just it's just one person. We have our orders, but should we follow them? Patricians, vote! A. Defy orders and send the coastal army to fight the rebels. B. Follow orders and link up with the counts. Or C. Hang back and let the rebels march on the capital. Um, I'm... Jeez, I... B? Uh, there's not very much time left on the counter. Vote B! Vote B! Tell Steve to meet up with the Counts, it's important! Oh my... A lot of abstention here. As long as something happens. Uh, oh. you guys are, uh, basically betraying your own monarch. Oh my god. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting anxiously for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into your throne room. The damn cowards, cravens, treacherous, yellow belly, lily liver, chicken hearted bastards. Sonic! Jesus. Why did you. Uh. Why did you do that? That's messed up. I tried to be. I tried. I tried to go on all the way until the end. Oh, uh, there wasn't a damn battle. Instead of- damn cowards, cravens, treacherous, yellow-bellied- uh, There wasn't a damn battle. Instead of engaging the enemy or linking up with the counts, the patricians told their armies to just hang back, do nothing. this hilarious though because there is no army <laughs> their army of no one betrayed us they didn't follow orders but they're non-existent commanders well sure but i mean the only reason why this re rebellion has started because we failed twice in a row from an 80 percent to a 90 percent chance i mean that was just really 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 bad luck the dice did not smile upon you this day. Well, sure, but at least we would have died with having having our own, along with our own installed leader. This is our leader that we installed in the first place. Healthy mix of cowardice, self-interest, and a lack of confidence in your abilities, I assume. They're hedging their bets and waiting to see who comes out on top. Bastards. Yeah, 
You have no choice but to rely on the counts. It'll all come down to the next battle, your majesty. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance. I must advise against this. You'll be in great danger and inspiring as your presence may be to the troops. Your death or severe injury would destroy their morale completely. Uh, no. I'm sick of waiting around. Farewell, Your Majesty. I, must, I will prepare your armor and, and horse. We ride at dawn. Once again, I'm just gonna die in combat. Damn it. But before, you get to tax one more time. Take, take all, yeah, please just take <laughs> our. I'm, like, I'm gonna all take. You can get. I'm gonna take all your money. <laughs> please. We're on the verge of rebellion. Yep. I'm surprised it granted three victory points. Uh, your marshal rides true. out to lead your forces again. Rebels full of confidence. When she returns a few days later, she's on a stretcher. One of her legs is a bloody stump. Bad news, your majesty. The rebels are far stronger than we ever anticipated. Someone fetch a physician. No. Too late for that. I led the armies of the patricians and the counts out for a final last-ditch battle. We could not win. It was a massacre. Thousands of lives lost in the space of a day. Don't tell me Steve is gone, too. Not Steve! We gave him a really cool stick this time! I didn't say there was any good news, Your Majesty. The Marshal laughs, but it turns into great wheezing and coughing. Pray to the Ninth, Your Majesty. Apart from him, you're on your own. She's carried away and dies, dies the next night. Before long, the great army of the chiefs sprawls outside your city walls. Confident in their victory, they mount their assault immediately. The fighting lasts all night, and the sun rises on a scene of carnage and chaos. The main gates were breached at midnight, and since then you've heard nothing outside but screams, howls, and clashes of blades. Half the capital is in flames. Soldiers rush back and forth, shouting panicked orders. Without your marshal to lead them, they're like headless chickens. Your honor guard are in the streets outside the palace, building a barricade and organizing last-ditch defenses. Vital work, but you're vulnerable without them by your side. The royal court is empty except for you and your daughter, cradled in the arms of her nanny. Her crying is giving you a headache. Your wife is long gone. Last night she gathered her retinue and struck out to escape the capital on her own. You offered to accompany her. She refused. A king should die on his throne, she said. You ate and stew. Outside the screams and clashes get louder. Finally, your spymaster arrives out of breath, her face stained by smoke and blood. They'll be here any moment, your majesty. You must saddle your horse and escape the city. No, I'll stand and fight. Then you will die. It was nice knowing you. Yes, I am aware. She's gone in the blink of an eye. Well, no turning back now. You rush to the stables, saddle your horse, and ride out into the street, sword in hand. A column of hardened northern warriors advance down the road, roaring and waving their battle axes. Chief Warvance is at their head, shouting orders. Charge! You kick your spurs into the steed and charge forward, sword waving. 
It's beautiful. It's glorious. It will go down in the history books forever. It's over almost instantly. A dozen battle axes chop you into dog food. A thousand heavy boots march over you, crushing you into paste. But for a moment there, you really felt like a king. Congratulations. You win, chiefs. King Kato's last doomed glorious charge against the chiefs would go down in history. Not as an especially smart move, but a brave one. After losing uh, the civil war, the counts retreated to within their borders immediately began plotting against the usurper. Unable to keep their puppet on the throne, the patricians were forced to retreat to their opium dens and brood. It wouldn't be long before a new claimant would arise in the coast, and when they did, the patricians would be ready. The chiefs launched a rebellion that toppled the king and devastated the kingdom. In the aftermath, nobody could stop them from taking the throne, and Odman was crowned to the half-hearted cheers from the traumatized common folk. Looks oh. like, uh, looks like, uh, King Kato, I've dubbed King Kato the loser. Game length was four years and nine months, which I think lasted longer than the previous session. Uh, my spouse was Des Desdomina of the East, and my successor is King Odman. Uh, well, congratulations, Chiefs. You win. Good job. You can, you can click the options at the top. I think it might show you more stats. Oh. Maybe that's what that is. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like uh, Hyena was the wealthiest noble, and the Japester was the poorest noble. And the, uh... Poor in money and in morals. Yeah, here's the endgame ledger. My authority was, looks like six, Ooh. but that person's sword is in the way. Stability that is four. is your liege. Oh, looks like that's the next king. Is, uh, this person. All right. Honestly, I'm 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 pretty upset that my. Uh, I can't see the faces. Huh. What are you wanting to look at? No, I'm just I'm I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, I can't see the faces because it has that that thing above it. You can close that. You can close it by clicking it. Um, oh really? Yeah, that's an overlay um, due to the chat integration with the game, so you can actually. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, it'll, it'll still be there to bring up if, again if you want. Uh, I only discovered that later. So what I was saying is I'm pretty upset that my farming failed twice as a, at really high success rate and then it just yeah, all and it just all plummeted from downhill. So I feel like the game is just rigged against the monarch, which is stupid. I mean a ten percent chance of failure is still a chance of failure. Yeah, but that's ten percent. Yeah. One out of ten times it'll go that way. The random number generator is like I yep. literally it like happened twice. I literally got fucked every single time. It's just really yeah, it upsetting. Can happen, can happen twice in a row because they're independent events, but it's yeah very low chance. That would be a uh, uh, one in one hundred chance, I think, of getting a ninety percent to fail. You think like reverse twice in a row? So lucky you defied the line. That's so Negative. so ridiculous. All right, well, uh, thank you all very much for playing. Um, it looks like uh, next time uh, the Chiefs of the North will be the Loyalists. And uh, I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you so much for playing. And uh, I'm going to go play something else because I'm pretty hyped up right now. And I don't think I have it in me to play another round. So I love you all. I hope you'll join me for, for the next time. And I hope you had a good time. Bye! Thanks yeah, for playing! Yeah, in the morning, though, go to bed, dude.